Yo, what's going on guys? This is Win and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Blades video. Today we're going to hop in and take a look at a big ability that I've been really excited for. You have to be level 10 in order to unlock it and we are very, very close. So we are going to level up, unlock that ability. I'm going to give you guys a few tips on how this ability is a game changer. You'll definitely see after I show you how great this can be. It's going to make you not have to use health potions nearly as much and if health has been a problem for you so far, well this hopefully will fix it. And of course there's going to be even better abilities down the line, but right now I'm at, at uh, level 9. Like I said, level 10 is going to be where this is really going to start to like heat up. And I'm excited because my character so far has been kind of weak, but now I can feel like he's getting stronger. He's getting a little bit more self-efficient and these abilities are getting even better. So we're going to unlock that today. But before I get started, I wanted to say that I will be giving away a $10 iTunes gift card. I'm sorry, Android guys. I don't have a Google Play card. I have an iTunes gift card to give back to you guys and say thank you for all the support that you've shown uh, me on all of my Blades videos so far. So what I want you to do to win that is just go join join my discord server and in the elder scrolls blades new chat channel we have just share a screenshot of your character you know show everybody where your uh, character is at what level you are what gear you have whatever you want to share go share in that channel and sometime this weekend i will pick a winner so if you want to win that ten dollars go on uh go on in and join our discord server that we have so um anyway let's get into the video now so like i said we're level nine we got to do a few quests we're really close to level 10 i didn't want to start the video at level 10 i'd rather just like get there kind of naturally but let's just do like a random mission chest capacity nearly reached let's go anyway i think if we do this one quest we should get there and basically this um ability i want to show you guys i can't quite remember the name of it but i think it's like adrenaline dodge or something like that and it lets you jump out of the way for an attack and you're essentially going to gain a little bit of health every time but there's one way that i know you can use it that's like extra effective and that's what i'm going to show you guys in the video today so let's crush some of these skeletons real quick with some combos damn i'm missing everything right now i know some of you guys made fun of me last time in my video from yesterday about using this steel dagger but i'm telling you this is like the best weapon i've gotten so far and when i actually hit them like that i get some pretty good combos these bandits don't even hit me like the hits get wrecked every time and yeah you can see we're almost level 10 now we should kill this guy and that should be actually it nice and i got another gem what the heck I think they increased the number of gems that you can get. I didn't see an update or whatever, but I feel like every, like, even just every 10th enemy now, I get one gem out of, which is not that bad. Uh, frost salts. More frost salts. We just gotta get six of these real quick. And we should be good to go. Oh, shoot. Nice. See, I love how they just they don't even get a hit. Level up. Perfect. There we go. And I do believe this ability does take two skill points. So you're going to want to make sure that you uh, save one of your skill points from one of your previous levels. Although, wait a minute. Now that I'm thinking about it, when you hit level 10, I might give you two skill points because it's like a milestone level. So that might that might be good. If you actually get two at level 10, then you're, you know, you'll automatically have enough anyway. But for some of those higher abilities, like, I'm already saving some of my points. I'm not spending my points as soon as I get them. For obvious reasons. Another gem! That's what I'm talking about, guys. It's crazy. I'm pretty sure they increased the number of gems that you can get. Uh, so, actually, you might be able to grind a, a lot. Like, if you seriously play this game a ton... Well, you know, I should probably pick up the gem. But if you play this game a lot, you might be able to get even, like, a thousand gems if you were trying to go for, like, Bloodthirst or something in the shop without having to spend any you know real money let's grab this last bit of salt wherever that happens to be oh wait hold up we got a chest over here i want to say it's like somewhere around here yes all right let's complete this quest now go back into the main screen silver chest oh no what am i gonna do I just lost a silver chest. I don't know when I'm next gonna get it. I don't know when I'm gonna get my next silver uh, silver chest. All right, there we go, level 10. Yeah, you do get two skill points. I, I thought about that, I was like, I think you actually do get two, and I'm glad that's true. So we got two extra skill points. We got, wait, 10 petty soul gems, that's nice. Perfect, that's gonna be really important when we get into a little bit more enchanting here. 
Now here's the moment that I've been waiting for to show you guys. Adrenaline dodge is freaking OP. This dodging strike evades up to 76 damage and restores up to 97 health. The closer the fighter is to getting hit, the greater the healing. So like if you can pull it off right at the last second, then you're going to actually generate more health too. So let's unlock that. Let's equip it too. And I mean, in general combat, it's going to be a good ability anyway. But I want to go into the Abyss and we're actually going to start way back at level 1 so I can kind of like walk you guys through what I think is going to be really important. Now, if you know those annoying uh, monsters and animals that like, they're the ones that jump at you over and over again like the wolves or the skeevers or the spiders. Those ones, even though they are annoying, now with Adrenaline Dodge, they're going to be your, literally your best friend. When you see those, you're going to be like, yes, free health. Alright, let's fight this guy. Let's just, oh, never mind. I was going to say, let's use it once just to see what it looks like. Let's hit him once. Wait for him to attack. Wait for him to attack. Nice. That's fine. Let's uh, just get through the first couple floors until we reach a floor that is like all skeevers or something. And then I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. And especially when there's a floor that's got like six or seven of them, you can basically use them to regenerate all of your health. As long as you just adrenaline dodge over and over again. Uh, because when you block them, they're not going to hurt you. Or they're not going to hurt you nearly as much as the health you you're going to regain anyway from the dodge. So when you're trying to climb up levels in the abyss, and you're getting to those floors, you're like, dang, this is pretty difficult. But then, you know, let's say you get to a new floor, and it's all jumping monsters. You're going to be like, heck yeah, I'm literally going to get back all my health. That's the one part about the abyss I think that kind of sucks. Unlike regular dungeons, there's no... There's no, like, cheese laying around or, like, mushrooms you can eat. You gotta go completely on your own. And the only health you're gonna regenerate is what you do in battle. So that's why Adrenaline Dodge is gonna be so freaking important. Now we're getting to floor three. Things are gonna start to get a bit spicy. If these are skeevers, then yeah. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let the skeevers just, like, hit me a lot. That's fine. I'm gonna, like, drain my health down just a bit. And then I'm gonna use this floor to regenerate as much health possible um, by just adrenaline dodging every single one of these things. Actually, having three of them attacking at once might be a bit too much. We were almost down to like half health. That's fine. Let's keep letting them hit me just a bit more. All right, that's good. I think we can now, we'll block these guys. Attack. Boom, regenerate a bunch of health. I think three, three at once is gonna be a little too much. Let's go two, two for one. <laughs> nice. Got back a bit of health there. Now watch, we can literally just like chill on this guy. It's not really hurting me at all. Boom. And we were at like half health. I killed the three of them. And now I'm at like three quarters health from three skeevers. Like, look how much health you regenerate. That's crazy. And that was kind of a bad example because I had three of them at once. Most of the time, that doesn't happen. When you can go through the floor, and I mean, wait, is that food? Oh, no. I got so excited. I thought that was cabbage. I just got done saying there's no food in the abyss. And then I was like, wait a minute. There's a cabbage. Let's see. There should be a few more skeevers on this floor. Yeah, let's try to fight them one at a time because that's norm that's what you want to normally do. So we're going to block. Right as he's about to attack. And you can obviously time it perfectly. Look at that. We're almost back to full health. And we didn't even hit him either. We still have more health than we did before. Wait for him to attack right as he's about to hit. Nice. Let's just block again. Oh, wait. We just got our health. We actually are at full health right now. Just from these stupid skeevers. This is why when you see jumping creatures that like come at you over and over and over again, it's really easy to time it. All right, let's, let's just finish them off now. <laughs> we, we already have full health. We don't need to do that again. But when you see these, like, I used to hate it because it's so annoying. But now when I see them, I'm like, yes, let's go. Free health. So we, I purposely let them hit me all the way down to half health. And just from five skeevers, I regain all of my health. We got more skeevers. Let's go. Let's do it again. <laughs> I'm just going to, yeah, kill that one. Now I have a little, I'm little, like I lost a little bit of health. I'll let the skeever come at me. Gotta wait for the ability to charge it first, and then whatever. I think I, uh, I think you have to hit them in order for the health to regenerate. Let's try this out. At that time, I don't think I gained any health. 
So maybe I'm striking a little too, a little too late. Nice. So that worked. I actually timed it perfectly. He came at me right as I swung, which is probably what you want to do. Let's block there. He's coming at me. Nice. And we still got full health. I think you guys get the point, right? This is a freaking awesome ability. And if you're not quite to level 10 yet, uh, then this is like what you have to look forward to. Um, I was going to say make sure you save a skill point, but you get to anyway. That's fine. More wolves. Like this, you could literally do this with wolves too. Oh, a little too late that time. These guys hit for a little bit more. Oh, I tapped it. I just literally just tapped it. I didn't do anything. All right, I'm just going to finish this one off because I got this other wolf literally breathing in my ear. I don't know if you guys can hear that too, but it's just like, ah, 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 like in my left ear cup. It wouldn't attack because it wasn't in front of me. All right, let's, let's try this again. Let's, let's kill the one. It's black. Dodge strike. Why doesn't it hit? I'm not sure why it won't hit. I guess I got to tap it sooner. Definitely way sooner, like when it's coming at me. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Nice. Let's block that one. Let's block it again. Alright, we got the ability back in just a second. Nice. And we're doing pretty good. I'm literally letting them hit me and I still have almost full health. So if you guys are low on health, you see some skeevers, you're trying to push in the abyss as far as you can possibly go. Just use that ability a couple times. Let it recharge. Even if you block, the skeevers don't do enough damage to you. So let's say like you regain 40 health. You let it hit you for like 5, 5, 5. Regain 40 and you just do that over and over again. And you're always going to come out of the battle with more health than when you started. So I don't think I have to go any further. I think, you know, it's pretty obvious. This is a really strong ability. Uh, the next one that I'm going to probably showcase that I'm really excited about. I can bring that up here real quick. Another one of the abilities is the recovery strike. This is at level 23 or 25, sorry, and it requires five skill points. So this is one where you're going to have to save a few skill points. Even if you get two, you're going to need three more, obviously, to unlock this. And these quick strikes can be performed at any time except when paralyzed. They each deal 28 extra damage. Uh, no extra damage for two-handed abilities. Did I click on the wrong one? I think I did. Perks. Healing Surge. I'm such an idiot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I clicked on the wrong one. This is the one. This is why I was confused. This was the one that's level 23. Increase health regeneration while stamina is high by up to 9 per second. That is what you're going to want. Like, it's just so much health regeneration. It's such a good passive. Sorry, this is the actual one. I don't know what that other one was, but this is level 23. And this one costs 5 skill points. So you're going to want to save up your skill points there. Not, what was I looking at? Recovery strikes? No, that's not what it is. The word recovery threw me off a little bit. I don't think that heals you in any way. Uh, but yeah, if you can get to level 23, that next ability is going to be a huge passive. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really excited to get more into these abilities just because this is like the bread and butter of blades. It's where you're going to craft your special character that no one else is going to have the same kind of abilities as you or there's going to be like different builds that you can try to go after. In fact, I've already seen websites that are made for like practicing builds or like clicking different abilities and trying out different combinations and like seeing how many skill points would it take me to do this type of build how how many levels do i have to go in order like to fully appreciate this whole build and everything that you want to do with it it's really in depth so when arena gets announced and the pvp actually comes out that is going to be a huge part of this game so just scratching the surface of what's possible right now but hey you know i think this is going to help me out quite a bit as you guys saw it's like really really effective especially when you use it on these really low like jumping monsters it's a great way to get your health back so that's all i have for you guys today i hope you're enjoying the blades content and remember i do have this ten dollar gift card that i will be giving away so go to the link in the description join my discord server and uh, just share a screenshot of your character and i will give one person that gift card sometime this weekend so i appreciate you guys watching and i will see you next time